Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're hitting some space weather. Two big stories about magnetism, one at the planetary formation level and another at the paleomagnetic level of Earth. We also have some announcements. We're giving some stuff away. And we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Coronal hole begins departing. Active regions stumbling in appears to have more behind it given the brightness at the limb. There was one eruptive event of note on the left side on the south, and this also suggests that eruptive potential is tracking towards Earth-facing position. When we take the first view and flip it sideways to watch the incoming limb, we can easily see the bright arcs coming into view. Likely have some more sunspots on deck here for the end of the month, also confirmed based on helioseismic data. Of course, we are awaiting a coronal hole stream to arrive here at Earth. It is not impacted as of this morning, so it's almost certainly happening today. Minor geomagnetic storms are in the official forecast and it could be aurorally exciting at high latitude, looking for a density hump in the solar wind and then the faster plasma stream. And we're off to the first article where scientists have confirmed magnetic fields control where and how quickly planets form in a baby solar system within the disk. We have already seen that the entire universe may have a dipole, magnetism molds galaxies and galaxy clusters, and it impacts star formation, and here we're confirming magnetic universe all the way down to the planetary level. Top science today is a revision of the magnetic field during the Cretaceous period. Previous work suggested that the field strength may actually not be as weak as they thought, with paleo intensity measurements pegging it 40% stronger than today's magnetic field of Earth. Now this flips the script entirely on that question from what they believed before, and that debunks the last and final shred of doubt about the modern magnetic pole shift. Special video on that coming later today, but I'm curious, can any of you tell me why that debunks the last shred of doubt. Let's see which veteran observers win the day. Folks, we're doing better with the Kickstarter answers to our backer survey for how you want to be credited in the documentary film coming out this fall on the magnetic pole shift, but still got a ways to go. If you didn't get the Kickstarter email, just log into Kickstarter and the survey should be there waiting for you. Folks, we had a couple cancellations, so there are a few spots left in the experience this October at Observer Ranch. Sorry, ladies, these are spots in the men's section, so the last few spots do need to be men. But this is the program that teaches you how to be hard as a coffin nail, unbreakable in the disaster event, psychologically, physically, spiritually. Special link is below. And also, one to this. You know, Bailey, my partner for Observer Review, insists that once a year we do a first month free for our e-magazine. It's a twice a month publication. Next one comes out tomorrow, and right now you have the ability to sign up to receive it for free. No dues until the second month. Link for that is also below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>